I'm going to guess, I think 17 is my final answer. I'm with Emery Stevens. Oh, baloney. That's a load of doo-doo. Northwestern's an 86. I, I don't feel great about our sim chances, but I don't feel bad about them. Okay, we're still climbing here with Dennis Latimer, so I think we can bar probably borrow. No one's freaking recruiting this guy. They just know he's going to come to Maryland, apparently. But let's stay tr stay high with these dudes. Nice, we're climbing up there. Let's just, let's dump some points. Let's scout him though. Let's see if he's actually good. I don't want to spend too many points if he's not good. Okay. Goodbye. Let's check out some of these dudes. Ooh. I really like this dude. What's his release? Uh, might not show release for athletes. Oh, 52 release. Dang it. So he's like a running back, probably. Trucking. His spin move, elusiveness. He's a running back. He's a good athlete. I'm going to bump him up. He looks dope. Andy, uh, we don't have to spend much on him, so let's do that. And then let's see, let's scout like these dudes. He's good. He's not crazy. His coverage is fine. Oh, shit. Damn, dude, we have so many gems this year. What is going on? I gotta crank these guys up. I mean, they're studs. We gotta find some more points for them. No cracking, you're not the only one. We were actually talking about that earlier. So I think these guys, let's just lower them down because we're just not gonna get them, like straight up. This recruiting class has a chance to be it might not rank as high because there's so many gems, but this has a chance to be a just dynasty establishing recruiting class. I'm going to steal, I think, 50 points apiece from these guys. I think we can afford it. I think we can afford some points here. Literally no one's even talking to this guy, so... Thanks for the follows, Marissa. Probably afford some points on these dudes. And then I want to crank these guys up to like 300. Let's get them some scholarships. We got a blurb from Cinnamon Rolls. see how that goes and you want Nick Bolton okay I'm gonna have these guys in for Iowa week seven it's a great recruiting week hopefully these tackles don't conflict I think you're gonna have two at the same position without conflicting okay chat we are gonna sim against Northwestern I, th I think we can beat him. We're probably going to sim the next three weeks and then play that Iowa game. So we've been screwed before. I think it's worth holding on to because we're going to want to play Iowa, Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, the, the typical, typical big teams. Come on. Yes! Woo! 30 to 24. Let's go. Defense is holding on so far. Knock on wood. Still only ranks 22. What's West Virginia these days? 
damn, they're a 90. Tempting to play that. I don't know, though. It's not conference, so if we lose, it's like not the end of the world, you know? I'd rather save the playage for later. But at the same time, <laughs> I would hate to lose. Penn State lost a conference game. That's big. We have a real shot at the conference championship this year. That's why I don't think we should play Western Michigan, because even if we lose, we're going to be in great shape. Look at Minnesota, ranked fourth. My Gophers, let's go. Yeah, we got we to gotta sim. It's the best thing to do. Are we on the Heisman watch, though? The disrespect. I want to see one thing real quick. I'm curious if we can find our, our guys that transferred. Can I do all teams? Because we had... I can't remember who, who it was that left us. What his name was. It might have been Sean Davis. No, it was James Taylor, right? I think he left us. And then we had our receiver that bailed on us after the first year. So he'd be like a junior. Might have been Brandon Harris. Oh, it was Gundiker? Where was he? Did I miss him? There he is. Rob Gundiker. He went to South Alabama. What a scrub. What could have been Rob? And then who was the receiver that left us? So he'd be a junior redshirt. Might have been Brandon Harris. I really can't remember. Anyway. The white guy at Akron? I already backed out. Did you see his overall? We have a coach upgrade. Our recruiting is almost maxed out, but I want to continue to focus on that. Oh, we actually don't have the third level. We'll get that for next year. But uh, let's get a boost to our, our visits this year. Get an extra 500 points. See if we need to move anything around. We do have some extra points to slip in there. Don't want to lose any ground on these guys. It looks like we can maybe drop these guys down 25. Uh, maybe not that many, but let's go up to like 550. Thanks for the follow, Dejam. De Dejacam? Dejacam. Jeez, we gotta get this guy in. Oh man, he's visiting West Virginia this week. He won't commit. He wouldn't do that. And then we'll get him in week seven. But we gotta win. Don't wanna lose that guard to West Virginia. Fuck West Virginia, am I right? <laughs> Embracing the rivalry. All my homies hate West Virginia. Whew. Okay. I don't love this, but even if we lose, it's it'll be worth it to get those Big Ten games in. But we got this. Come on. Ah. Ouch. 
Owie, ow, ooh, ooh, ow. That's okay. Big 10 is what matters. But yeah, West Virginia's got her numbers the last couple years. I got my, my eyes are set on the, uh, my eyes are set on the conference championship this year. National championship can be on the future. But if Bowling Green upsets us again, I'm actually going to be pissed. Oh, it's possible, Cinnamon Rolls. You just got to have faith. I've won national championships like four straight years with just an all-simulation all simulation season. You got to keep in mind, our team this year is not... We're not a super squad this year. We're far from it. We're only a 90. So to expect a national championship this year probably is a bit of a stretch. Okay, this kicker's coming, man. He's not worried about it. We need those points. I might... I think I might back off of this dude and use those points elsewhere, to be honest. Because we already got... We already got a 75 overall DN. these corners are legit and then we can I guess stay stay with them there so we can at least get them in for like a visit I was still ranked we just got to beat Bowling Green chat got to beat Bowling Green It looks like our ranking was fair after all. Yeah, maybe. They are 1 and 2. They're an 81. We can do it. I do want to see what happened in the... Uh... See, that 2-0 and in conference looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, what the heck? What happened? Uh-oh, guys. That might explain some things. JB Beard might be injured. That would suck. Jordan Butler got sacks. No picks. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Please don't be bad. Bro. No. Well, he's coming back, <laughs> guys. Oh, pull the, we could pull the red shirt, but we have, I don't think that makes sense. I don't think that's a good idea yet. Eric Newman's dope, but guys, Robert Link is a senior red shirt. He's an 89, he's got experience, he's athletic. It's college football guy. He's definitely better than the red shirt, who's a 78. So we got to at least see how Link plays. Dude, JB Beard, that sucks. He's going to have to come back for a senior red shirt year. He's not proven enough. He was going off, though. That sucks. Fix the O-line depth chart. Thank you, TLF. Yeah, we got to get Eric Williams in there. He's in there for every single position. What the heck? I mean, I guess we did redshirt a ton of these guys. So let's just make... Uh... Eric Williams the backup at all these spots. I guess I probably shouldn't have redshirted every lineman we have. I don't think I don't think he's gonna transfer guys because he and hopefully that's you know knock on wood but he uh, 
Although I did promise the quarterback that he'd be a top three pick or a top third round, top three round pick. Okay, beat Bowling Green. We got a bye week next week. Come on. Oof, cutting it close. Robert Link. Whew. That was scary, but we, we made it through. Four and one. It's the best position we've been in heading into week seven. We got a couple bye weeks in there. So Beard will be back. He'll be back for like Penn State and Ohio State. We got to take care of Iowa. It does make things interesting. It definitely makes things interesting. I'm excited to play with Beard. Get a little better athlete in there. Getting close to the five hour mark, guys. I'm not sure if I'll do the off season for this one or not. We'll see how I'm feeling. We'll see how quickly this goes and how I'm feeling. Okay, we got our kicker. That was quick. At least we got that taken care of. If we get a walk-on punter, we get a walk-on punter. I'd much rather get the kicker. We are ranked. Yeah, can you imagine if, if Link turns into a good quarterback, the amount of freaking quarterback talent on this team, especially with Dennis Latimer still... Yikes, this tat these old line battles are getting dangerously close. Oh geez, Clemson just came in hot here. Hmm. Man. Teams caught on to our recruiting. Started going after these dudes. I'm gonna need some of these points here, Mr. Matthew Wilson. Should be able to get Dennis Latimer to commit next week. That'd be nice. Let's see if we can get... Yep, we can get him in. Get these corners in. Big game against Iowa next week. They're ranked 13th. Hopefully they don't lose this week. I guess we can schedule Mike Woods. So that's good. We'll see how the Iowa visit goes for Tatum before we give up on him. The NFL draft this year is KBZ. It's April 29th, and this is as good a time as ever to remind you guys to take out your phones right now, set notifications if you haven't already, to join me on YouTube, draft night, and the ensuing days after. I'll be there. Teddy will be there. Lisa B will be there. It'll be a grand old time. When do I start? Uh, it'll be, I'll go live like 15, 20 minutes before the draft probably. <laughs> I know you will, Brandon. <sighs> okay, huge week. Huge week coming up. Okay, looks like some things are getting interesting. Oh man, David Patterson went to Minnesota. Okay, recruiting is getting interesting here. We have, I don't think we've had such a competitive year of recruiting before. We're going to have some cleanup to do, I think. The draft starts uh, right around, of course Iowa lost, because, of course. <laughs> we have such bad luck with that. These teams friggin' losing right before we play them, every time. Jeez. Okay, this guy's going to commit this week. I, I feel pretty good about that. He's only 50%, 58% locked, but we really are doing good there. Man. Big, big week getting these guys in. Now, the, rec the visits look pretty good. I don't think he's going to commit to Old Dominion in week nine. And these guys are all pretty late, so... He actually might might do pretty well. I'm glad we got those increased visit points. Now, it looks like we lost someone we were recruiting pretty hard. Yeah, David Patterson's gone. So we're going to have to go probably pretty hard after that tight end that we do have. These guys locked us out. We were never recruiting them in the beginning, so let them go.
cleaning this up a little bit. This dude locking us out. We we're never recruiting him. Okay. 5,700 points. One dude ready for a visit. Chris Cannon. Should be able to get him in this week. Maybe get him to commit. If we're lucky. Max you out. Let's, uh, he's visiting. He might commit this week. We sh He'll probably commit this week. You know, we can honestly, we could probably go back in on, he's visiting this week. We could probably go back in on Mike Woods, get a big week here. Could probably get a huge, like, I don't know, 2,000 points this week if we could win. And then, let's see, this guy. This guy has his number one. Let's see if he commits. Ha ha ha! We stole him. Four star D tackle. It's a bit of a bust, but. That'll make the recruiting look better. We didn't even really talk to him. <laughs> we just had him on our board and just sniped him. Big week, Robert Link at quarterback. Let's see our stats. Man, Beard was having such a damn good season too. Ah, I hate it. But he's gonna be like a super senior. It like he'll be like a double ninety nine next year. Run game has been pretty good. Jonah Bell, go off, Jonah Bell. Soden's got seventeen receptions, so we're on our way for him. Phil Dotson has been great as a freshman. Still not a lot of sack production. Splitting out the interceptions. I feel like I should tag college football guy and tell him he's starting. Tag him on our Discord. Okay, we got this, guys. Yeah, let him know, Brandon. There's Kevin Thibodeau. It's the first time I've actually seen him. Looks skinny as hell. Oh, that sucks. Red Ring of Death is the worst. Going for 3-0 and in the Big Ten chat. We got this. Let's see what Robert Link is capable of. That'd be pretty sweet if Robert Link got drafted. We bring JV Beard back. We got these outstanding freshman quarterbacks. You don't know what the Red Wing of, Ring of Death is, FIFA? Oof. It used to take Xbox is like crazy. It's probably one of the most... It's definitely the most historic, like, technical flaw, at least in a video game console, but they would just... I had I had the Red Ring of Death twice, and the console would just shit itself. It would get on the power ring, it would just turn red, and then you'd be toast. Ooh, Soden, nice run, okay. So we can get some read option game going a little bit more. Really lean on that run game. I'm hoping to just make this a game where we only have to play three. Oh, geez, is, uh, is there a receiver hurt too? Did we really get decimated by injuries again this year? No, he's fine. I don't know why he's not out there for this formation. Right? Oh, 
Yeah, it didn't happen on the Xbox One, just on uh, 360. I'm going with the screen. I think the Blitz is coming, so... Let's go. Freaking offensive lineman just looking at space. Ash Soden in that receiving game is, is lethal, dude. There you go, Robert Link. Bringing some mobility to the offense. Ajax, JB Beard got hurt. Torn hamstring. He'll be back in five more weeks. Brutal injury. Oh, nice block. It is a heartbreaker, but we're hanging in there. He comes back before most of our difficult games. So as long as Robert Link can hold his own, we still have a good chance. There you go, Blaze. If Link's pops off, I mean, we got to bring JB Beard back because he was he was playing at a first overall pick level, but it'd be pretty sweet. We become QBU. Link plays well. Yikes. <laughs> KBs, I have the update from, let's see, like three weeks ago. So I don't know when the latest update, I think that was the latest update, but unless they've done one in the last two weeks or so. Couldn't make a decision. I froze up. Talia did not get drafted, like, at all. Somehow. Something's going on with, like, our formation subs. I don't know why... What's-his-name isn't in there. Oh! No, Robert, no! Come on, Link. We had it. <laughs> okay, defense. Pick it up. Good job. All right, let's simulate a little bit. There we go. Good job. Ooh, fuel goal's no good. All right, let's hop in. What angle would I take if I tried to rebuild the Chargers? Well, there's not a whole lot of work to do. I mean, I'd try to get a left tackle in the draft and see how the defense plays. There's really not a whole lot to do in a Chargers rebuild, to be honest. It's just, does Herbert reach his potential or not, really, is what it's all about. Yeah, Panda. Still alive, baby. I wasn't kidding when I said Megalodon stream. I didn't think it would take quite this long, but... It is a super stream. Oh, catch it. I, I just don't like the speed options. It's really hard to dissect and it ends up in a fumble too often. Just gonna end up running a screen here. They had two guys on the running back, so. Ideally, I only need to use three drives here. Let's let's kind of sim a little bit and see how we do. Good job, D. D, 
defense has been way better. I mean, we said it coming into the year. We needed the defense to be better, and they have been outstanding. They're really carrying the load so far. Don't want to speak too soon, but I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here. Woo! I don't even need to... I don't even need to play chat. Look at Robert Link go. Woo! 35 nothing. They kicked the field goal. Damn. A little bit of a late storm back from Iowa here. Jeez, that was garbage time and a half. Robert freaking Link. No way. Go off, dude. Ash Soden. Trayvon Butler doing some good sacking. Okay. Huge W. So the over what's the over-under on uh, how many commits we get this week now? I think I think five. Five's gotta be the over-under. That was so big for Robert Link to, to do that for us. And I think we got a bye week next week. I'm also just proud of our defense. We'll set it at four and a half, so over under five or over under four and a half commits this week, chat. Yeah, we got a bye week. Then we got Michigan, Indiana. Some winnable games, and we'll get Beard back for Ohio State and Penn State. So we'll play that Michigan game. If we can beat... He actually might be back for the Indiana game. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm taking the over. I think we get five or six. That's my prediction. That's right. Comp keys are the real MVPs deep down. Beast mode. Spicing it up with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Whoa! Let's go, baby! Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Over. We smashed the over. Let's go. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. We are ranked you 14th. Me? That's got to be that the highest we've been. This class is going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. And we have all these points to spend now. Look at this freaking class, dude. We got to be number one right now. We got to be. Look at this. Are you serious? And we have all these points to spend. Like, that's an underrated aspect here. Week 8, we get to add... We have the number one class and counting. Starting week 8, we get to add two guys. But to get those guys in this soon is ridiculous because... We can now, like, go out... Go all out for these dudes. And all of a sudden, like, get in the game on some of these guys if we want. I mean, we might as well. I can't add guys by our rules until week... Um, next week. So we're going to max all these guys out. And then we'll, we'll split it up a little bit more next week, but... Oh, wait, it is. It is week eight. I can add guys. Okay. So hold your horses a little bit. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. I mean, we can't we can't add another quarterback. He's not getting recruited though. I mean, I I can't do it though. Like I literally can't add another quarterback and that's all he is. Although he has decent coverage ability, but he's slow. I just I don't like that player. I know he's a five star, but so this guy, eh. six foot se what? From Maryland too? Yes. I don't care if he's any good, but four three two speed at six foot seven. Chat. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll play him at tight end. I don't care. So he's obviously getting added, and then. I think I'm gonna add this guy too. Four three six speed running back out of Joyzy. Let's take. Uh, let's walk back these points for just. Although we could potentially get. Man, all right. Let's just walk those points back for a second because let's see if these guys are good. 
Hell yeah. Dude, his catching sucks, but yeah, he is MVS Jr. Jeez. But six foot seven with 95 speed, I mean, you gotta add that. So Michigan lost, apparently, because of course they did. But maybe that means they're vulnerable. I'm starting to get pretty hyped for this season. Like, if we can keep winning and then get JB Beard back. I mean, that six foot seven guy, what was he, a 70 overall? So we'll definitely, we'd redshirt him. Maybe by senior year, he'd be an 85 with 99 speed, potentially. Six foot seven, 99 speed. Get behind that. Conference player of the week. I wonder who that was. Is there a way to see that? I wonder if it was I wonder if it was Robert Link. It probably was. Ranked 12. Michigan is two and four. What the heck? Uh players of the week. We didn't have a player of the week. What are you talking about? He was the top corner in his recruiting class, really? That's surprising. We kind of struck out on those tight ends. Oh, never mind, we got Drew Davenport. We good. I mean, we literally don't need to touch our recruiting the rest of the way. I guess we gotta look at visits and stuff, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through the off season. Got it with this class. Penn State's ranked ninth, so they'll lose three games before we play them. Defense coordinator's got a much earned upgrade coming. Dude, editing the stream up on TFT plays is gonna be a bitch. Get those speed boosts coming. Michigan's down to a 91, and their prestige is probably gonna drop, but we're definitely playing this one. Maybe it'll be a three spot if, if necessary. So we played, we got one five and one three out of the way. You know what I might benefit from is getting the Keurig going and make a little iced tea or just hot tea. We are officially past hour five chat. A-Rod is buying the Timberwolves actually. Is that real? That's actually sick. Oh, go. That was a sick screen. That's sick. Go Wolves. It's kind of nice to have some speed, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Link, what was that, dude? You said it 20 minutes ago, my bad. My a bad. Much needed change of ownership for that organization. When I, I used to work for them, holy shit. No one, yeah, that was like such a bad culture. And it clearly showed up for the team. So maybe A-Rod can change some things. Oh, what a throw. What a throw from Robert Link. Okay, Bell. Show off that speed. Oh, he's got him. Hit him, Link. Ooh, let's go, Jonah freaking Bell. Let's go. Woo! What a dime from Robert Link. Hell yeah. back in there. Yeah, Jonah Bell like, isn't in on his formation or something. Oh, the Red Seas just parted. Ouch. Going with the triple option, guys. 
We'll see how it goes. Although, I don't know how I can pass this up. Looks like the blitz is coming. Nice play. Doing it again. Play action. Sending Jonah deep. Get back down here, slot corner. Outrun him. Let's go, Benson. Damn it. That was a good play by Robert Link. I am so excited to have a 93 speed quarterback next year. Assuming we start him and not the freshman. Block. Truck him. Robert Link. Put him in the first round. What a freaking just perfectly executed play. Let's go. We are looking good this year, dude. Everything is like finally coming together, I swear. We got one more drive. I'm going to save it. I'm going to see what happens here. We, I mean, we could go up to five if we need it, but I'm hoping. Defense, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Defense again. Gave up a drive before half. All right. Um, I think I'm going to play the next possession here. Oh, let's go. All right, let's see if we maximize on that. Nice. Soden, another touchdown. Dude, defense again, and now we have a 99-yard drive. This could not have gone any better. Good run. There is definitely going to be a QB controversy when J.B. Beard comes back. That's for... I feel like the fact that he's a senior, Link is a senior, and Beard is a junior makes makes it a little more sense to stick with Link, but... Oh, my... Oh, what? Blaze Benson, what? Dude, what is happening? We looked like the fucking 2000 Miami Hurricanes out here. This is incredible. Again. Like, what the heck happened? Great throw. Recognize the main coverage. Beautiful. Dangerous, but... It worked the way it should have. That outside corner should not have been able to recognize that. Let's see if we can get a reception here for... Uh, Make sure we get our running back his touches, his, his receiving carries, because we or his his receptions, because we promised him we would. Oh, he's not even out there. He's too tired. Still like the play call. Still like the play call. Let's go. Get it. Oh. Will Colbert. Okay. I know. I can't believe college football guy is missing this. This is like his moment. Ouch. Can't take that sack. I feel like I remind me to reset my formation subs after this game because I think it's a little screwed up for uh Oh Robert Link, let's go! Woo! 
Okay, we can only play in the final two minutes, so hopefully we'll hold on. Getting a little shady here. Come on, D. Uh-oh. Come on, offense. Okay, slow down. We can play. We can hop in here. Third down. Good D. He's short. Oh, they gave it to him. Oh, I almost jumped that. Come on now. That's right, Brandon. You're our user. You're like a Devin White archetype. Not a lot of agility, but really good speed. timeouts Get off a block I'm gonna call that timeout there you go Laduca let's go college football guy you made it are we going to see a Robert Link show up for a, a game-winning drive here? Let's see. Get in there. Get him. Oh, damn. All right. You showed up just in time, Robert. Oh, man. That's a big two-pointer right here. Big two-pointer right here. Freshman safety, Greenwald. Oh, wide open. What happened to our flat? What the hell are we doing? Laduka, what's up? Okay. Let's just play the kickoff. Let's play the damn thing. This is too much. This, this is too much pressure. Oh, could he go? Whew. Drew Smith. What a return. Is it possible to reset my formation subs? Because I'm kind of bothered that. Yeah, let's let's see if that fixes things. Yep, he's back out there. Alright. So we have a bomb ass kicker. Stayed up. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hurry it up. I'm gonna call timeout actually. Man, this defense is not letting up. Five wide. Four down territory. Jeez. We gotta get this. They are pressing us. Come on, Jonah Bell or Drew Smith. One of you guys beat this press. Oh, yes! Go! Give me a block. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Ready, boom. I don't think that's a bad comparison to compare JOK to Jamal Adams, to be honest. I've actually done that myself. Oh, God. What a j oh my god, that was lucky. I'm gonna run it. Yeah! Let's go! Defense, let's finish it up. Tackle him. Oh, the freshman safety lighting him up. Laduka, let's go. Thank you for the gifted sub. 
How about uh, a John LaDuca game-ending interception right here after the gifted sub? I'm feeling it. Oh, geez, that is not how Madden works. Honestly, that works. No, Daniel, not undefeated. We lost to West Virginia, but we're undefeated in the Big Ten. We're going to use our Laduca. Oh, fumble. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's fine. What a game. Wow, guys. Unreal how this is going. We have an, we officially have a quarterback controversy in Maryland as our potential number one overall pick, J.B. Beard, tears his hamstring, and then the backup, a redshirt senior, Robert Link, comes in, and he has been incredible. And if he keeps playing like this, I don't know if we can go back to J.B. Beard who is going to get another opportunity next year to come back. Not to mention we have a 93 speed, incredible looking quarterback waiting his turn. And we just signed or are about to sign an incredible five-star commit this year. This is like, we have like four of the best quarterbacks in the nation. 